Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. How are you? Oh my god, I am so freaking hungover, guys. I mean, last night, oh my god, I had the biggest heartbreak there ever was. Um, someone told me that my boyfriend was seen in a club with another woman, so you know, so be it, fuck it, you know. But uh, come to find out, someone told me they was someone else. So I pretty much kicked his ass out of my house and told him not to come back and it's all a fucking joke because the person who told me was a reliable source and they lied because she's a hater and she wants my boyfriend. Well, you know, he's the ex-boyfriend now because once I break up with you, I'm done. You know, um, a lot of people tell me, well, Stacy, you're being too hard on him. He loves you. I was like, well, if he loved me so fucking much, then why ain't he here the last two days? So, you know, I don't know if I'm going to take him back, you know, even though it was a mistake or whatever, but still, if he loved me so much, then why would he have me guessing that he may be possibly, possibly cheating on me? So, you know, ladies, you know, what's good for you is good for you, and sometimes I think better things, best thing for me is just to be alone. You know, I'm a person who I was on the go, and I know that God will replace anything, even when it comes to a man. Definitely that, because... You know, God didn't put you down here so you just be alone. He wants you to be loved by someone who cares about you. If you got a second guess, a boyfriend, then guess what? That ain't shit. <laughs> a boyfriend is a boyfriend, but a fiancé is priceless. And that's what I'm looking to do, guys, you know. This guy is like 64 years old, and I am 40, 40, 45, you know. But um, long story short, um... He's pretty much out of my element. Only thing he wants to do is sit around all day, even though he, he got a job. He stays home with his mother. <laughs> he used to be in the military. He's very cool. He just smoked reef all day and talk shit about mixing. Something I don't like, you know. I'm and um he said, "Well, stay I didn't know you was Latino. I will I will stop saying about Mexicans." He said, "You're not Mexican. You're Puerto Rican and all this." Oh yeah yeah yeah. But man, you have no right to talk about anybody. Oh, sorry. Mama's boy, prima donna ass. And don't get me wrong, guys. He's Mexican, Dominican, and, and fucking black. And his father is from Jamaica and all that. So he's a mutt. I don't understand how you can be talking about Mexicans when he's fucking Mexican, Dominican, remix. You know? But anyway. Well, guys, you know, you just look at my room, my house. I mean, God. I got ready for to go to the club last night. And you see all of my hair products are everywhere. My bathroom. Hell, look at the curtain. This shower curtain. I tripped and fell last night, man. On my shoe, got stuck in that damn vent over there right here. And you can see what I did in my curtain, in my shower curtain. Boom, busted it ass. You know what I'm saying? So I got to get a whole new shower curtain. And that ain't all I did, guys. I'm just going to take you to the house. And you guys probably going to cry. Like, girl, if I was you, I'd get my ass back in the bed. Okay? So give me just a second. And I promise you, I'll get back with you. Part two. Peace.